I can't say the king of coding is back because he never left. The Sonus 3.5 has been crushing it as a top coding assistant for months right now. No one was able to take the crown because it just worked fast, affordable, and get the job done right. Sure, we have seen so many challengers lately, like the DeepSeek R1 was good but way too slow, the O1 and the O3 are impressive but cost too much, and the Gemini models came close but couldn't quite match up. And now the Sonus 3.7 is here. And it's even better than before. In this video, I'm gonna show you how amazing this model is by putting the 3.7 to a test with raw code in two different ways. The first one is on an already existing project that I already started using the normal LLM mode. And in the second test, we will build something completely new from scratch. And I will turn on the thinking mode to see what this thing can actually do. So grab a drink, sit back, and let's see what makes this coding assistant the greatest so far. Let's start with the perfect setup. This model is the first hybrid model ever that we got. It has two different modes, one for reasoning and thinking, and the other one is an ordinary mode like the 3.5. So we're gonna have to create two different profile from row code over here, one for the thinking and one for the ordinary mode. Starting with the normal LLM mode, I will name it code Sonnet 3.7. I'm ditching the 3.5 completely and I'm gonna give it the API key. And you can select from down there all those approved read and operation because it make my life a lot easier. And there is a lot of stuff that you can control here in row code. I will leave it to you to discover it. And I click done. And once more, I can create a new profile by just adding a new one. This one would be called Sonnet 3.7 thinking Create profile, but the different instead of selecting the model just cloud 3.7, I will pick this one with the thinking here. Notice this new bar that show up. The hybrid model of 3.7 thinking mode have capability of thinking budget. You can modify it if you want it to sink slightly lower or higher, but this will slow down the entire process of thinking also will cost you more. I'm gonna leave it at 6,000, which I think is enough. If I feel it's slightly lower than I need to, I will bump it up. And I'm gonna hit save and I hit done. And now for coding, I will select a 3.7. And for architect, I will select, instead of the deep seek R1, I will select the 3.7 thinking. And with that, the setup is done. And this is the perfect setup because we're using a same model for two different situation. The thinking will handle the architect like the R1 because it's a reasoning model and the coding will be done with the 3.7 which trust me, it's one of the fastest coding large language model out there right now. Before we continue, let's talk about the pricing. They maintain the same pricing of the 3.5 Sonnet which already was pricey enough. 1 million input equals $3 and caching $3.75 and for 1 million output $15. So basically nothing changed over here, but the quality and the speed improved. In the code mode, I have this prompt which is enhanced, create a router API in the point inside this profile routers file that will connect the delete functionality inside this controller to delete the entire account using middleware for authentication and verification. And I will hit enter. And in a less than a minute, it's have been done and give me the code. Here I can delete the account by using this ABI endpoint. And it's automatically authenticated using the user OS, which I'm using over here. And I can right now use it in a Redux. And now I can use it in Redux logic. And I'm going to build on top of it, telling it, Create the Rudex logic for this router. It will be under the ABI slash U slash profiles and hit enter. I'm not gonna give it a lot of details to see if it will do a mistake or not. I noticed few things when it was working. It's extremely fast. I don't know how the 3.7 is much, much faster because the 3.5 in a couple of last week was extremely slow and slightly dumber than it used to be. But right now, this is already have been fixed. The second thing, it created the entire ABI for the profiles slides. I mean, not just talking about delete it, for fetching everything about the profile URLs. 
but I told it I just want the delete from router and it went ahead and created this very very fast and it told me how I can use it also as an example and I noticed already that I don't have to specify to use the create API which is the modern way of using the RTK it used to create an old logic of Redux slices which right now is outdated for me and I don't use it in this project a lot. It already predicted this and did it on its own. And this is improvement. Like right now, all I have to do is connect it to the store and start using it in the UI. And for the UI, I will start a completely new task. It will have this prompt. I want to create a completely new component under this folder. And it will handle the account deletion functionality using the Redux slice that we just created. And just for more logical understanding, understanding and give the, I give it the function where it is. And I will hit enter. This is the result of the zero chart technically task that we just did. And it's really cool. Like... I didn't tell it to use React icons or to even to add it to this page. It's already implemented this in the logic. After it was done by by after it was done creating the component, edit to the main file of the profile edit. And this is automatically triggered its improvement for the entire file by adding icons and adding this kind of very cool style for your eye. I'm gonna hit delete and see what will happen. I have to type delete first, which is kind of authentication to permanently delete my account, which I honestly, I don't care about this account. So I'm going to try to delete it. Okay. I am already kicked out of my account. And if I search the database right now, I shouldn't find it. So I searched my entire database and I couldn't find it. And it's not only didn't just delete the entire row for the information about the user. It also deleted the everything that connected to it in the functionality that I created in the back end, which was created by the 3.5 before the 3.7 came out. And that's include the end of our first test. It's not a surprise. I already know that the 3.7 will be incredibly good. But right now, let's test the second mode for thinking. I'm going to try to create um, an entire project from the scratch right now using NixJS 15. And I'm going to try to use the thinking model to architect the entire project and give it a lot of details and see how it will handle it. For my next GS project, I will not use type script, I will use ESLint, Tailwind, of course, and no is CRS directory. Of course, I will use app router because I'm gonna use in the back end express. And I wanna use turbo back for once without crashing the project, and that will be my next GS setup. In my architect mode, using the syncing capability of this model, all I wrote is basically this description of the layout of this project. This project is an online air ticket booking system for Traveler. It contains three main parts, admin dashboard, user portal, and a public website. And each one have details. For example, the admin have the administration management of the entire system, the user portal for reviewing data and showing the history of ticket and all the stuff. And public website will be displaying available flights and allow, allow user to search and book tickets. This project will be using NixJS and the front end and XBraceJS for the back end and Prisma for the database. And I told it at the end, look at the schema Prisma that I have so you can understand this project. And let's see what will happen when we send it. Okay. I have been staring for the screen about seven minutes. I'm not joking. It's it's like what moment just happened. It started with a project analysis, which I didn't ask it for it, but it wrote the entire project analysis first here. And he said, yeah, this is awesome. Then it did technical implementation and I didn't ask for this. And it's amazing also because it's going on details of the folder structure and how the flow of the project will go. Did it stop? No, it continued by creating UI UX design plan, defining the color, typography, iconography, and everything that's in detail. It's it's just, I, I didn't see any model do this before. Then implemented a roadmap. Did it stop? No, it created an executive summary. This is some enterprise level documentation. Then went ahead and created database, 
relationship ERD. I don't know how even as a human I can write this in the same way. Then did creating testing strategy. That's amazing because it's not, it didn't just create a testing strategy. It's also, and then it give it example of testing cases. And finally, it's ended with the next step. What else should I do next? Like initializing GitHub repository, creating Express, set up the mono repo. It's, it's just like too much stuff created and it cost me like 60 cents. It will save a lot of time. Like I don't have to sit down and think what the last thing that I did and what I need to do for this project. I just have to open the entire roadmap and see what I need to do. I don't know, but I feel like this model is on a different level. I know it's useless to see more code, but I wanted to test something because 3.5 wasn't able to do this. I need to create an logic for Express as a backend server replacing the current API of Nick.js. I will hit enter. Okay, this task, it turned out to be one of the best results that I have seen so far in terms of the quality of code and the cost. It not only created an Express server a file for me and integrated to Next.js, it technically created the entire base of the server that I wanted to run from the visa router to user, tourism and ABI response, how it will look like, handle error and authentication also. And this is went out like very smoothly. The only thing that I have noticed that was kind of very weird, it started to speak um, like, like this. Now let's check the main page component. Let's look at the main page component. It's like two different sentences for the same meaning and I have no idea why. And it installed a lot of stuff using the row code terminal commands and deleting old file when I told it about something. It started to install all the library that I need immediately and creating new file and folder and modifying the files. It's just too good. It's like leagues above 3.5. And at one point, I felt it doing something wrong when it created the Express server and wanted to run it. It, it did separate Next.js from the Express ABI. And I don't want to do that. I wanted both of them to be integrated. I gave it a good and I told it, look at this approach. It is integrating Next.js and it analyzes it. It basically defines the entire ABI inside Express and replacing the ABI of Next.js. And it went ahead, delete the stuff it did and added the logic that I want. And it started to continue modifying the entire project. But I noticed there is a few things that I missed. Like, for example, that I want to use the Redux set management instead of the hook it created. And then in the main page, it created a simple UI to test if this project is working or not. Here is called ABI example. And in the UI, after I did run it, it's working perfectly. I started to realize how good this model right now, because I don't have to do a lot of stuff. And this how much did it cost to create all this file and functionality and maintaining and saving a lot of time for me? One dollar and a half. And the, like I, I am struggling to have the correct, correct word to describe how good this is compared to the previous version of 3.5. So I really want you to go ahead, start to abuse this model to save time, just thinking about how much I'm going to be able to perform much faster in terms of coding using this model is just amazing. And before I end this video, I want you to go to check one of these two videos. The first one is an editor that I found. It's called Try, which basically gives you the 3.5 for free. You can use it. And the second one is a video that I made yesterday talking about the details of this model and why it stand out from any other model that we got so far. And in my coming video, I'm gonna talk about the cloud code terminal AI assist from cloud, which is a kind of new assistant run in the terminal. I'm gonna make a video about it, how we install it, how to run it, how we can use it in my coming video. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, please hit the like and subscribe button. It will help my channel a ton and thank you guys for watching and see you in the coming video.